All right, coming up on this episode of Crosstalk, we're going to be doing a deep dive on Avengers Infinity War, and guess who's going to have a differing opinion than me? <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> usually, usually it's Chris, but uh, we'll find out. <laughs> All right, we're back for another episode of Crosstalk. I'm Tim. I'm Chris. And today we're talking about Avengers Infinity War. Yes? Yes, yes? Yeah. Mike? Yeah. Yep, 100%. Okay, cool. Uh, so we all have, surprisingly, agreed upon this movie as a successful movie. Which, yeah. which is the first. I don't think that <laughs> yeah. rarely happens. Very rarely, yeah. considering how many movies we've all watched. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh... I do like it for the record. I just do have some concerns that we'll get to <laughs> as we talk what? about it. But I do like it. I do. I really Okay. Do. Yeah. So I think we'll let Mike go first yeah. and tell us why he likes it. And um, we'll see what we get out of that. Yeah. Okay. So to, to kind of start things off, I want to I wanna be, uh, I want to get this out there and say that Infinity War was a mess. Like it was, okay. it was bloated. There was a lot going on, and mm -hmm. there were just, like, definite points where it was, like, like a lull in terms of pacing, but my god, <laughs> it, it was, was the it was the most beautiful mess I have ever seen. I thought they handled, it actually, like, the pacing quite well, considering all the characters they had in it. Yeah. I mean, they jumped back and forth, but I, I felt like it worked. And it's only, like, five yeah. minutes longer than Captain America's War. Yeah, I know, and some <laughs> War I felt was far messier, actually, than yeah. this. Um, it actually there kept were, it like, were, a lot more cohesive. There too. were definitely more lulls in yes. <clears throat> the storyline uh, with Civil War, but you could tell, like, there were certain. Because I watched it twice within the span of, like, a week. Right. Oh, okay. Um, I only saw it one time, so. so like, you watched the first one with Kate Gloves, and then the second time he actually. <laughs> <laughs> he went in, like, I'm gonna yeah. not like this. Yeah, like, no, no pad and everything, <laughs> yeah, just to, like, pick yeah. it apart. But, um, I noticed that, uh, there were definitely parts on my second viewing where mm -hmm. I was just, like, all right. Let's, let's uh, move this along. Let's, let's, let's keep this going. You could definitely, you could have cut this out, but right. that's totally fine, whatever. Fair enough. Um, but I enjoyed it, 100%. Mm -hmm. um, it was definitely, um, what I enjoyed more about it was that it resonated with me on a level that Avengers 1 resonated with me. Right. Like, it was awesome. Like, it was the most comic booky mm -hmm. comic book event. That yeah, has happened in it a was. It did a really good job translating the like comic book storyline onto yep. the screen, and then changed yes. parts where it made sense to change mm -hmm. it. And I, I'll actually give that to you because, and we've all we've talked about this before, and we don't need to go into <clears> it. <throat> While I think the Captain America Civil War is an amazing uh, movie, just out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this movie is Incorrect. a better comic movie than that one, so it's... I am on board with that. I actually yeah, think it's like they did movie. a really good, like you know, his whole interaction with death in the comic book is like it doesn't yes. make any. Point, it doesn't make any sense to put it in the movie, so yes. it's a good idea to cut that out. And um, uh, I think personally, I think it's like better than the first Avengers. I think for me, it's like yes. the best Avengers movie. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I gr I think that we had to actually go through like a bunch of movies to get to this point. Mm -hmm. Well, which, yeah, yes. which proves my point that it, all these movies are necessary. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> they're really not. But uh, how dare you? How dare you, sir? <laughs> they're, they're, they're so. But yeah, anyway. So yeah, I agree with you. And what was cool about it is that, because um, you brought up, like, it, they, they translated it well onto film. Yeah. What was really cool is if you actually take a side-by-side -side comparison of, like, certain shots, like, the the beginning where you see the Hulk crash into Doctor Strange's place, that was almost, like, a direct copy of the the, the panel in the comic book. Mm -hmm. But instead of the comic book, you had, like, the Silver Surfer. But when I saw that, I'm like, that's a nice little, that's a nice little, like, um, like Second. adaptation, yeah, yeah, yeah. like uh, between the two like mediums, I thought that was really yeah. cool. But um, but again, like this movie was there was a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Um, but what made me like what what when it comes uh, to this movie, the first Avengers movie, is that this felt like a lot more personal. You know, it, yep. the first Avenger was summer movie schlock. Yeah. What do you think about it? Yeah, they just yeah. bring yeah. everybody yeah. together. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. With fighting like, these giant, like, aliens that, no, like, exactly. faceless and they're not really a... Yeah. Yeah. So you could say this is an argument for comic book movies having actual, like, impact on lives and actually meaning something. Yeah, I, I mean... Actual stakes. Yes. Actual stakes. Yeah. Yes. And then, like, when... Like spoiler, like are we? Can we delve into spoilers? At I feel this like point? I feel like if people are watching this video, they should know okay. that we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> so, so when skip ahead if you want, but like so like when when the character deaths happen, you yeah. feel it this time. Yep. Like um, 
when if you if you isolate like uh, what happens in the movie mm-hmm. and totally forget that they have a phase four or was it phase five that they're going into four four four, four. I think yeah. It's four. so yeah when you when you just completely ignore <laughs> the fact that Black Panther has a movie coming up Spider Man has a movie coming up like this when the snap happens you're like okay <laughs> like, <laughs> you're like wow like, people in the theater like including myself were just like okay all right yeah. all right cool yeah. I, yeah. I'm people it was fun it's funny like so i saw it in calgary after the expo like uh j- well during the expo and we just like went and um so it was you and a bunch of other comic book nerds no it's it me and my roommate and so like he sort of wasn't jazzed for it and he didn't, ultimately kind of didn't he's fatigued yep. from marvel which is totally fair <laughs> but so we we went and watched it and um like everybody in the, in the theater were like the movie ends and they're like like audible gasp like i'm like <laughs> does nobody yeah. read comic books ever <laughs> right but but yeah it was and they're like what the hell like what's going on and i'm like good that's a good like ending right because yeah yeah it just keeps people like kind of guessing and that's that's ultimately like really that's a good thing i feel so so like obviously mike <clears throat> is in a positive camp and like aside from it being a little bit messy as a film like, you, you like it. I enjoyed it. Like, I, I wanted to go back, like, after, like afterwards. Um, I really wanted to go back and kind of just watch it. Because mm-hmm. I, even though I kind of criticized, it was a bit, a bit more critical on the second view, and I still enjoyed it. Yeah, like, it right. was still a fun movie. Yeah. But for you, it sounds like it was, it was enjoyable, but in terms of it being a <laughs> film... I have some, <laughs> I have some concerns. You have some notes? Well, so, like, first, first of all, the, um... Man, that opening, they were not dicking around, like, right at the beginning, man. <laughs> They're, like, killing through, you know? Loki bites it, and, like, Heimdall bites it, like, right off the bat. Like, they were yep. not messing and, around. And, like, they Half just Asgard, totally... Which was, like, nothing. The whole yeah. Yep. Yeah, they just, like, beat the crap of the whole... Yeah, and, like, every... The, uh, Thor and Hulk getting away just basically by the skin of their teeth, right? Um, I love that the Red Skull was in it. That's yes, because like <laughs> Captain America, right? Mm-hmm. And um, the whole, but I had to say like the whole part with Gamora when she's like, um, when they're going he, to get the soul stone, he's like, she's like, ha ha ha, you can't get it. I'm like, you're such an idiot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, but you're so dumb. Like you deserve to die. <laughs> like. It was, yeah. so the movie was really well done. I really enjoyed it. I liked the ending and everything like that. My problem with it is... Wasn't long enough. No. <laughs> God, that movie took forever. Like, but, like I, I felt like it zipped along though, and yeah, I didn't yeah, feel yeah. like Captain America felt long. Right. But this felt, um, obviously Civil War, but this felt like it zipped by. So it was a quick, like, couple of hours. It felt like it, yeah. Like, even the cuts back and forth, like, I felt like it was paced, like, well enough. Yeah. That, you know, you didn't sit there, like, wondering, like, when is this going to end? Okay. Um, <clears throat> but my two main concerns with it are, um, and they're not necessarily really about the film, but they're more so about what's going to come next. The next phase is going to be either all prequels. They're, like, going to, they have to step on eggshells the whole time because they don't want to give anything away mm-hmm. for the next one. So it's going to be, like, like, a boatload of prequels. Yeah. Which, why... Well, it's it, it prequels and origin stories, right? It, it was weird when uh, they Set followed before. this with Ant Man. Mm-hmm. It's like two yeah. different tones and like uh, completely different. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and then when you when you think about like, okay, so are we gonna are we gonna see everything? Is this gonna be post snap or pre snap? No, it's pre. Yeah. yeah. When and like when you hear that it's pre snap, you're just like, is it kind of worth seeing? Now? Like, is it okay? I mean, you. You're diminishing the impact yeah. of the events of Green. Infinity, Infinity and War. And see, Captain Marvel sort of makes sense because they're... So they're setting it in the 90s to yeah. do her origin story so they can kind of get away with it. Yeah. But anything that has a direct sequel between like between now and this Infinity War sequel, mm-hmm. they're going to be handicapped now. Yeah. It was like... Uh, exactly. It was like um, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show after Captain America Winter Soldier. Mm-hmm. Completely handicapped by that movie. Yeah. Now. Another theater, I'm going, man, that was... That was some heavy stuff. And they're following it up with Ant-Man. I know. <laughs> like, but they're, but they're following up with Ant-Man because they need some levity after, like, the crazy, like, they somber do, note. But I feel like people are going to be disappointed when they go in that expecting like, some sort of follow-up or yeah. something to happen. And what they'll probably do is, like, an after credit scene where, where, like, people, up, yeah. pe- where people disappear. So it's like, hey, do you remember what happened two months ago? And, like, people... I, yeah, it's just going to be kind of... I think it's going to kind of come across as, like, a little... I don't, disappointing. Yeah. Yep. 
solely because of the gauntlet. I see what you did there. Um, all right. Was that intentional? Though? It, was definitely, it was definitely a dad joke, and I just do those now. So. Yeah, okay. Nice. <laughs> okay. So, uh, the second thing that concerns me about it is that I feel like, and they do this, and comic books are super guilty about this. They're gonna just undo it all, like all the deaths, like maybe not all of them, but all of, but maybe one or two yeah. major characters. Because like, how does this affect? How does this does this affect Guardians? How's the you know what I mean? And so I don't, don't want to step on your toes. Going forward, talking about why I like the movie, but <clears throat> I actually think that that was intentional and it was actually super valuable. So we'll put a Which pin is... in that thought and come back to it when I talk about why. I like let, the let, movie. Let, 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 let me just let me just finish. Let me just finish. Okay. So I'm gonna like, finish. so I'm gonna let you finish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, so like yeah it's just I, I feel like they're just gonna re reset it so that they can kill the characters that they want to kill which is uh, most likely gonna be Captain America and Iron Man because right. I feel like Robert Downey Jr. is about done and Chris Evans is done done like he's yeah. done after this he's doing he's gonna do uh, he's gonna go be a director so they're just either they're gonna like retire or they're gonna DC movies that was yeah. about to, I was about to say I feel like the DCU <laughs> yeah, yeah that'd, be, that'd be hilarious so yeah I just, and that'd be disappointing for me because like for the first time I feel like it has real stakes and real something really bad happen and something lasting and I feel like they're just gonna go back and undo it all but, because because money but when you think about it I feel as though like if that happens it's in true comic book fashion you know what I mean yeah it's like yeah. usually they, they wait a bit though it's part yeah, of personal man like that's okay so I'm talking now because you yeah okay <laughs> major like, points this is this is like, <laughs> pin we're putting pin in and like Okay, so okay, I think the reason why this movie is great is that thematically the deaths do matter, mm -hmm. and not for the reason that you think. And I know I do this all the time, where I'm like, it's not <laughs> what you think it is, but it is. The reason I think that matters is that the deaths are more symbolic than they are actual deaths. And they, and be, as, we, as we've discovered uh, with Thanos, his whole purpose is about death. And if you've read the comics and you know about the backstory, you know that like that's his big thing, right? And... Um, I think in the film universe, the reason why death matters with Thanos is we haven't really, like you said, there hasn't been any real stakes yet. And it, it's because he is the protagonist of this film and it, his story is about death and it is about life and, and the difference between the two. And thematically, it makes sense that the, the characters of old would live. So, yeah. And, 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 and to, then get a redemption story. And to that point, like, has there been a villain where you can just super, other than maybe um, Killmonger, yep. but like, has there been maybe a villain like where you can like be like, yeah, like, like, dude's got like a really good argument. Yeah, because like Loki was probably the best case for a villain <clears throat> for most of the movies up until mm -hmm. I'd say Killmonger. Although I still think Adrian Toomes is a really solid villain. Which one was it? Uh, Vulture. Oh, Vulture, Homecoming. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of. It's but just these like, two, last just two villains are the best by far. But yeah. I feel so with like the vulture, like he was a bit more relatable because he wasn't like some. He was, but like his character arc was all over the place. Yeah, so it was, I kind of found it hard to get invested in him. But like then when you're sitting back, you're like, you might actually be onto something. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's just like you could almost, you almost kind of agree with him at, at a few points. Yeah, and I think the the, ma the main point I want to <clears> make about this is not that he's a good character. He's definitely a villain, mm -hmm. like because of the way he wants to get to his goals. Like he wants mass genocide. Like that is not an altruistic goal. No, it's not. But like so, he's doing it. He believes that's the only way to save the. Universe. But he's a scarred character. Like he's a, he's a flawed character. Yes. He's been impacted by something, and so his 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 rationale for why he's doing it is because he's such a, a deep and interesting character. Yeah. Um, but like I said, the new characters, and we've you guys kind of talked about that already. It's like weird that they get all these prequel movies because we know that they're coming back, and and the reason is because symbolically the old characters are going to die off, and the new ones are going to kind of stand over. in and take mm -hmm. over, right? Yeah. Um, and the, even like we get we get an indication of that with, with Doctor Strange, where he's like, "I'm not going to stand in the way of the time stone being saved in your lives. Like I'm going to make sure you're, that the time stone is saved." And then what does he do in the one universe? of a million scenarios, he yeah. saves Iron Man, right? That being said, though, I, I, I feel like he did that on purpose because the, the one the one in one million that he saw that they would be victorious is, 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 that, that, one. is that one, yeah. And that's so what I'm saying. It, it's, so it's like, I have to let it happen so that it can be, like, undone somehow. It's also thematic because Iron Man started this whole 
universe <laughs> and he's integral to that so it's like a passing mm-hmm. of the torch thing where it's like we have to give him like respect i i think that that's really great i also was like you guys are like what why are they killing spider-man but then i thought about it after i'm like no no thematically it makes sense like he's like his like prodigal son like it's more impactful to see spider-man die than yeah him. and it's like it's it's uh a lot of the character deaths were all like about tearing like tearing down the um current version of the avengers like mm-hmm. like you look like Bucky goes and like, you know, a few like people, a few people like really close to Cap go, but Cap's still there. Yeah. Like all these people that Iron Man, like basically he's like, um, like a shell of himself now because like Spider-Man goes, the guy who's tutoring and then like Doctor Strange who developed like sort of a relationship in the movie and like all these people that are close to him, but he's still there. So mm-hmm. it was like very, let's tear them all down and then they're going to. Yeah. You know, like you said, the, it'll be like a huge redemption arc in the second mm-hmm. one. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, those things are really cool. I also think that uh, thematically it's really interesting, um, his relationship with Gamora. I mean, he's humanized by the fact that he actually cares about her. And he actually she, loves her, yeah. And, she, like, and you're like, wait a second, like, how could he possibly, he's so, like, evil, but, like, he he wasn't able to succeed if he didn't love her. So, like, it takes... I would almost argue he's, like, not really pure evil. He's just... Yeah. He's, Crazy. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. yeah, he's, like, he's got the purest intentions, but, like, the, like, craziest... You know, he's the the genocidal way to get there, you know? Yeah. So, like, so there's, yeah. A, there's, a, there's, there's an interesting thing there about, like, love, too, right? Like, whereas you have characters who are, are who are, are not willing to kill, to and they'd rather save people to make sure that they... Like what do they say? We don't let we don't let people fall. Or we don't let people uh, yeah. uh, die. I can't remember how Ca- how Cap yeah. said it. Yeah, he says the vision like we won't let you go. Yeah. Like we're gonna make sure you live. And then you get characters who are killed, but only because their loved ones are like, no, you have to kill me in order for us to like not lose. Like Vision's like, no, you'll have to kill me. Can I like and like that scene too, yeah. where like with Elizabeth Olsen and like Paul Bettany. Yeah, that scene is like that was freaking beautiful, man. Like yeah. you're wa- I'm watching the theater. I'm like. Like, damn, like, that's, like, mm-hmm. you can see in her eyes, like, how difficult it is for her to do that. Yeah, like, like, just when she, when rips, she rips the, st- out the stone. stone. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so for me, like, I agree with you guys, like, <clears throat> that there are things about it as a film that are, like, okay, well, why would you do it that way? Or why is it, the runtime is too long or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I think there's a lot of really great stuff that the movie's accomplishing. The yeah. comic book movie is accomplishing this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, it's it's really, and like, Brolin does a great job. Like, yeah. it's not even you know, all that CGI. Like, a really, really good job. I think just for me, like, I'll come back for the... Because I want to see what happens, like, how they do it. Mm-hmm. But I might either take a break or I might, like, just drop out after that. I might just be fatigued. See, I might just be done. See, what's weird for this movie was that I was 100% done with Marvel. Like, <laughs> and then you I, saw the trailer and I'm like, oh, I'm back. <laughs> well, no, I, like, even after I saw the trailers, I was, like, super skeptical about how this was all going to play out. But then when I started watching it, I'm like, okay, yep, it kept on reeling me in. And then there was, I think what really grabbed me was the bit where uh, Thor comes in with his, with like Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker. Oh, yeah, and he yeah, helps yeah. out. I was, like, I almost stood up. I was like, yes, I am like, <laughs> I am five years old again. And this is amazing. And mm. like, at, and then even afterwards, I'm, I'm I was a like, little more less fatigued. I'm a little less fatigued with the series. now. I kind of want to see where everything goes from here. It's actually is it's like a genuine comic book moment because it's like uh, in Secret Invasion. Did you guys ever read that? Yeah. It's like that. That's what it felt like to me. It was like Thor's fucking back. Yep. <laughs> yep. Right. Like it was cool. Um, um, but yeah, like, it was the, the the like what I liked about it was how comic booky it yeah. all was. Yes. Um, all comic booky, f- but like not in a bad way. Yeah. It, like they did the action right in this movie. Um, one oh of, yeah. One of my big complaints with Winter Soldier. Is that they did the Jason Bourne like quick edit like don't act like a lot of times they would they would edit right before like a giant punch mm-hmm. whereas here like you felt every single impact you like, did yeah. yeah like the action was so clean really well done and then um yeah like I'm, I'm trying to think of like other things I also liked in the movie yeah. there was like a ton yeah. seeing um seeing uh Banner take control of the Hulkbuster suit I thought that was amazing and like yeah. really cool. Um, but then after leaving, I was like, yeah, no, that was great. I, I really want to see where this goes. But at the same time, yeah. 
Um, I really, really hope we see an end to the cinematic universe because where do you <laughs> yeah, go right. from on, here? Well, like, like, <laughs> so you say that though, but it's like, where do you go from here? They're gonna keep going until it becomes that's, not profitable. Until see, that's the worst. Exist. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, <laughs> until it's, until it's no longer profitable. So that's okay. I'll, yeah. I'll just say this because I <clears throat> may be a fanboy. I mean, I think I, I clearly am a Marvel fanboy, but. I, th- I think for me, the reason why it's going to continue on is because Disney owns it. So yeah. Disney's really good at creating franchises. So <laughs> Are they, no. though? Yeah. <laughs> Are they? I mean, like, not in the sense of... No, they just buy them. Oh, yeah. I mean in the sense of, like, they know how to create a formulaic yeah. uh, output. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it, maybe you're not going to be invested in these next movies. People yeah. will still... But people will be will invested. Still, yeah, they'll oh, yeah. still go oh, see. Oh, they'll oh. make tons of money, and, like, like where do you, where, they'll just keep... Uh, rocking the same formula until they'll take like a movie here or there and yeah. do something sort of like Guardians, sort of risky but yeah. kind of not really. But and then they'll like do they'll pepper those in between, but for the most part they'll stick to the formula until it stops making money. Yeah. Well, like the thing is, is that they're already banging <clears throat> out like two really big men. They were they went through Civil War, like that was probably one of the like, biggest arcs. Ne- yeah, one of the biggest arcs next to Infinity War, and like Infinity War is gonna wrap up in a year. Like, where do you go from here? The Secret others... Wars. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> See, it, they can't yeah. do it unless they get Fantastic Four. Like, that's but they're going to get that because yeah, Fox because is Yeah, they're buying Fox, now, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah they're going to... They're going to... that would work. They're going to own, like, everything. Oh. Except for the Hulk still. Yes. What? Yeah, they don't own the Hulk, like... Uh, Universal, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, they don't own its distribution rights. They own the character, but they can't make a solo movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Anyway. So, Seeker Wars, I think, will be one. <laughs> and they'll probably redo a bunch of X-Men sh- stuff, because Fox... Oh, yeah. Right? Well, oh, if they, that'd be great if they did, like, House of M or something like that. Yeah. That yeah. Because yeah. that's, 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 that's almost in... See, see... That's almost in... That's what they do. X-Men. See, that's what they do. They, yeah. That's what they'll do. They'll do yeah. House of M. I guess. They, they got lots of decades of stuff. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of which, um, because you, you mentioned X-Men, you mentioned, like, getting, like, yeah. Rise of Fantastic Four. The end credit scene, I kid you not... Every I couldn't help but feel everybody, including myself, in that theater was waiting for some like Fantastic Four like reference, and everybody was going. <gasps> and then you see. No, it'll be a Captain, Yeah, if you if you see when you saw Captain Marvel, everyone was like, "Oh, I guess." See, <laughs> I like, I was I was uh, always a huge huge fan of Captain Marvel, so I'm mm-hmm. I'm actually kind of interested. I might I I'm thinking of, I'm gonna go I'm see gonna that money, because, yes. because Captain Marvel is like. It's always been, kind of been one of my favorites, actually. I'm going to put money on the table. Yeah? Like, theoretical money. Okay. And say that Black Panther 2 is probably when we'll see Fantastic Four. Really? Could, yeah, they could, they, they could do that. Depends, it depends how There's long... There's a nice tie-in there between Black Panther and Fantastic Four. That, that, there is. It'll depend That's on, like... appearance. Yes, it'll, yeah. it, it'll depend on how um, long it takes them to get the rights. I think it'll be around that time. Yeah, it could be. But I'm putting money on the table, on camera. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> could very well be. Anyway. Yep. Okay, so let's just do final thoughts because that was a lot to unpack. Yep. Yeah, it was. <laughs> um, well, I guess um, for me, it was bloated. Yeah. There was a lot happening. Yeah. yeah. Fists were flying. <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of characters on screen and multiple times. And, like, the story was... But, like, the story <clears throat> was just... It was so well... Like, it was well done for a comic book movie. Yes. With I agree. all that going on. Like, it yeah. was a beautiful mess still enjoyed it and if if given the if given the chance i probably would see it again yeah christopher loved it concerned of where they go from here um how it's going to affect the rest of cinematic universe i'm concerned they'll reset everything which they probably they're gonna do um and um it's still in my mind nothing will ever surpass winter soldier because like that's (laughs) that's my film man like but this is second like this is number two yeah but like it's that good yeah, it really is. So for me, I actually will say, <clears throat> while it is not the most universal film, mm-hmm. you have to be a comic book fan or you have to be invested in these films to be able to enjoy this movie. Yeah. I think it is probably like in my top three. I still really like Captain America: Civil War, <sighs> God. but <laughs> this movie I think is slightly better. The- yeah. I know, it's weird. Could I, hold on, slightly better than <laughs> Civil War? Or... For me, not as a movie. I mean, like, I can see why people like it better. Yeah, I'm, because I'm, it's, I, like, coherent. That's yeah, what... The story makes sense. sense. I, like comic... <laughs> yeah. I like comic books. That movie had 
like 30 characters in it. This movie we also but, has... Yeah, but it's managed a lot better. It's managed it's, better. It's, yeah. It's so a lot of way better. Like, the whole, the central plot wasn't, like... Bullshit. It also has a much better... <laughs> I also agree it has a much better theme. Like, the theme of uh, Civil War is basically just, like, there's strife in the Avengers. So, like, yeah. not as interesting. But this movie, I think there's a lot of really cool themes in it. So, for me, it's a really great movie. So... So that said, I, I don't like know. we all liked it. I yeah. think, yeah, like, but, but we just liked it more, way more than Civil War. And it, I, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to, had to add that. Twin. <laughs> well, I mean, like, what was your second favorite movie, or what was your favorite movie up to this point? Okay, so it's Avengers, right? Right, Avengers. So Avengers one, Infinity War, and then right now, as it stands, I would say like Iron Man one, because like Iron Ooh, Man cool choice. Like Iron Man one kind of started it all, and when when I watched that movie, I was like, "Okay, yeah, they did it. They cool." Did it. So we're all in agreement that Captain America is important. Yes. Well, yeah, it's Captain America. Even though we're not Americans. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's the he's the he's the um, the conscience of yeah. the of the group is what he is. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So do we have any other final thoughts that are just like looming around, or we're good? I think we're good. No, I think we're good. Okay. Yeah, so. So, what do you think? Agree, disagree? What do you think of Avengers: Infinity War? Uh, feel free to. Um, like and share, uh, comment below, please share your thoughts, and uh, even better, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm Tim. I'm Chris. And this is Crosstalk. Uh, at the very end of the credits, you had mentioned uh, how it just goes straight to black at the end of the movie. There's none of that, like really fancy, showy, uh, overdone visuals. Thematic stuff, yeah. Yeah, all this was like Thanos will return. Yeah, yeah and it was great. just went straight to black, and then it showed that beautiful, there was this, there was that motif, the Avengers motif, um, which was the big theme song in the in the first one, that never showed up in, in, in Age of Ultron, but then showed up again in, in, uh, in, oh, in Infinity awful. War. Um, and then, <laughs> so uh, yeah, at the, at the end, there's that little, the, the title, Card that uh, and then it fades away just like all the characters do and mm -hmm. it plays that da 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 and it's all it's just stripped down piano.